It is said, it is said that when you make too much noise making the beer, um, people who drink it will end up fighting. And um, we don't want that. We want happiness and joy. So I'll try to do this as quietly as possible without making too much of a racket and thus avoid anyone drinking the stuff having a big brawl. So in here is the, the mash, this is the mash tun and there is the malted barley um, which is now being immersed in the boiling or hot water where it will commence the uh, the mashing process here's how we're boiling the water over the fire after the mashing's been done for a while it goes into here which is a mash filter with a false a false bottom um, into this will also have layers of um, of uh, straw which will help that filtering happen is the filtering process where we put the straw in and layer the straw across itself and this is the uh, wonderfully uh, antique looking process of making the plug <laughs> so this would change the color of the beer, make well, beer more bronze, uh, or? bronze and uh, siltax warm. Oh. Karts layer, yeah, mm -hmm. and the bronze. And now it stays for two hours in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, after one cup. Yeah, that's where the stones are. Yep. here. Ah, you put the hops in here. Apinia and apinia. Yep. Uh -huh, so one hour with the apinia, with the hops, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then later the hops will go auksha on top of. Yeah. We're in the sour, you're in the spines. One bucket, one spines. Yeah, and we're in the sour. Ah, okay. Yeah, yep. yep. And both door, 
Oh, okay. And plus two or three. Always plus two or three. Smells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, uh, sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait and stand. Okay, once one hour. Yeah. Let it cook. Yeah. So now the mash has been added to the mash filter and this is the the lauter or the lautering process where we separate the wort from the the uh, the malt and that will be the wort down there. Uh, we do this bucket by bucket so we can keep track of how many buckets we're making because we're also making this for uh, another family in the village. Um, I'll transfer the first bucket straight into the big um, wooden cask we've got um, in the cooling room or the Cambaritas which is like our above ground root cellar. The first one I'm pouring hot uh, into the, the wooden barrel. The second and every one thereafter I will uh, first cool out here in this water the bucket in the water and let the uh, the rot cool. So just to recap on how the process occurs, we have the barley. The barley is uh, germinated and dried and smoked in the um, in the smokehouse, which is formerly the black sauna here. And um, once that's done, it's uh, kept until we need it uh, to be uh, then crushed, uh, so that the husks can be cracked open to allow more of the starch out when we do the mash process. The mash process, uh, which was when we were soaking it in the big wooden barrel before, um, that allows um, all the starch to break down in the barley or in the malted barley, uh, which then releases the sugar. The sugars uh, which end up in the in the wort um, are what is needed for the fermentation process to occur in the um, fermentation barrel, the wooden beer barrel we have in another room in the Cambaritas. Um, yeah, so at this stage what happens is every 10 minutes we take hot, nearly boiling water from here and we pour it over the top of this and let it soak through so we can then do another refill. And we keep doing that process over and over again until we reach the um, amount of buckets that we wanted to allocate in the first place. So 
from beginning to end this starts at about six o'clock in the morning from six o'clock in the morning we keep going until some cases about 10 at night because the last process in all this is to add the um, brewer's yeast um, into the big beer barrel and uh, where that that's where the and also more sugar as well and um, then that's where the whole magic part happens with the fermentation in three days we'll have some beer okay update you again soon cheers so now we're adding the hot quite hot almost boiling temperature water here I'm not sure the specific temperature these guys don't keep track of that let us know how it's meant to be after many many generations passing this recipe down in this part of the world so here is the cambaritas very dark this is actually where we store all our, all our um, winter vegetables is in here and this is the um, fermenting barrel for the beer I'm just going to be adding the first the first part of uh, the wort um, for the fermenting process Okay, so adding the yeast to the fermenting. Wow. <laughs> Time to see how the yeast is rising in our brew. Oh, yeah. It's looking okay. working so here we go for the final addition to the uh, wow a highly yeasting brew looks amazing so we're adding in some caramelized sugar now oh it's still bubbling mm -hmm. yeah very hot <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells. Mmm. <laughs> that smells really nice. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. I hope. Lovely? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, about about a day's work in the end about a full day's work and um, and we end up with uh, 90 liters of beer all nicely cast up in the kegs and a couple of extra bottles as well very caramelly kind of flavor yeah so let these guys sit for um, couple more days or three more days um, and we've also added more sugar to them as well um, to continue that whole fermentation process very nice don't you think so Henry so beer homestead style in Latvia so that was a day in the life of, uh, of brewing beer on the homestead. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Even subscribe below because then you'll get these videos sent out to you automatically and I don't have to rely so much on social media to get exposure. Um, and if you know people who might like it, spread the word. Share the videos. And, uh, you know, I'd like to grow the channel and, and uh, keep the slice of life coming. So, until the next time, see ya.